the sun is the center of our solar system as a giant ball of plasma, it's pretty hard to miss him in its 30 million degree center. You would see hydrogen fused into helium and release energy, magnetic fields got solar flares and coronal mass ejections and particles from these burst damaged electronic connections, it's 100 times as wide as Earth and Freeman miles far. And despite all of this, it's just an average sized star. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, and as such, it takes the least time to run around its orbit. Its year is only 88 Earth days, and the solar wind means that little gas stays on its rocky surface, barren and full of craters. With no atmosphere, its temperature wavers from 800 Fahrenheit to minus 300 at night, but there is still some ice in craters away from the light. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are made of hydrogen. Like Venus is the second planet from the sun, it's the same size as Earth, give or take some. Venus is covered in a thick layer of clouds made of carbon dioxide which in effect shrouds a planet from losing heat like a giant blanket so it's 900 degrees due to the greenhouse effect. It's covered with volcanoes and a ship by their powers. The only probes that ever landed died within two hours. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. The Earth is the third planet from the sun. I got a feeling you're familiar with this one. It's the only planet known to have had life in its history. Though just how life started is still a bit of a mystery. Four billion years ago, two protoplanets collided, and our moon was formed when collision debris united Earth in the Goldilocks zone. Not too hot nor too cold for liquid water to exist and life as we know it to take hold. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun, and it's the place where our voyage to other planets has begun. The surface is covered with red iron oxide, much of the atmosphere is blown away with no magnetic field inside. Early astronomers saw canals everywhere, and they thought perhaps aliens had put them there. Thanks to telescopes, orbiters, and rovers, we now know that there are no such alien canals, although rivers, deltas, volcanoes, and canyons abound. There's little water left of life on Mars can still be found, so we sent spacecraft there, like curiosity to try and understand Mars's geologic history. Between the inner planets and outer planets, there are billions of asteroids orbiting in a belt around our star. Sometimes they are knocked out of their stable orbit, and a few might collide with Earth if they don't avoid it. Why the belt? Well, it has to do with Jupiter, you see. It pulls on the belt with its massive gravity, preventing asteroids from forming into another planet. But don't worry, a big one can't hit Earth soon, or can it? Jupiter is the fifth planet, it's the largest one, bigger than all the others combined, but only a thousandth the sun, it's a gas giant, so it has no ground on which to stand, but that doesn't mean its surface is bland. The great red spot is a giant cyclone on its surface, it's centuries old and huge, bigger than the Earth is, there are four moons that with binoculars you can see, discovered in 1610 by Galileo Galilei. Eo has volcanoes heated by the friction of its tide, and Europa is covered in ice with an ocean inside. Ganymede is the largest moon we know exists, and Callisto is covered in craters from the asteroids it hits. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun in terms of beauty. I'd say its rings have clearly won. They're made of bits of ice and rock orbiting through the void, and they may have been formed when a moon was destroyed. Saturn is the least dense of any planet known, and the most oblated centrifugal force is really shown. Titan is methane lakes and a thick orange haze, and Enceladus has water in liquid phase. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are made of hydrogen. And like a Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun, and dirty jokes about its name are deserving of shun. Not much is known about Uranus or its brother Neptune. His voyage to is the only crafty who ever go to them. Uranus has rings, though not as great as Saturn's, and it's usually devoid of any interesting patterns. There's not much more about this place which I can say, but hopefully we'll send a new spacecraft there someday. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. 
Neptune is the eighth and final planet from our star. The sun's 0.1% is bright because it is so far. It's similar to Uranus in mass, size, and composition. And Uranus is orbit predicted its position. You may have noticed Neptune is a bright blue. The methane in its atmosphere gives them to you. It's the windiest with 1,000 mile per hour gusts. And Triton is liquid nitrogen spewing from its crust. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. The ninth planet was Pluto, but it's a planet no more because it's too small, it's a dwarf planet, but this topic soared. The planets were very close to a plane, but Pluto does not. And more dwarf planets were found, that's what got this topic hot. Pluto's big one, Charon, is Pluto's little brother. So big that Pluto and Charon will wreck one another. Beyond the Kuiper Belt is the Oort Cloud, and that's where debris from our star's formation can be found. Our sun and the planets like Earth and Mars are not alone, just look at the stars. You see, most stars have their own collection of bodies, and that is what the search for exoplanet studies. There are far more stars up there than you can see, 300 billion in our galaxy, and there are hundreds.